What's going on Team TMO? So if you have been following me on social media, my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter, then you know, as of late, I've been on the move a little bit. So I figured I'd make a video to show you all a little bit of what I carry with me when I'm on the go. Now, everything I'm mentioning in the video is gonna be linked down below, so you can just refer down there to find out more about these particular items, but let's first talk about this bag. So the particular bag in which I carry is made by a company known as Air, and it's their Air Fit Pack 2 in black. I own the first version of this bag, but I don't know where it is right now in my apartment, but ultimately this particular bag has a ballistic nylon exterior. It has these nice big zippers, which makes it really easy when you need to get inside of a pocket. You also have a front load main compartment, which is really spacious for storage and easy access to everything. And then my personal favorite thing about the bag is this little ventilated compartment at the bottom, as this is a nice area to place your shoes and it will not touch the other contents of your bag. I am anal about that, my shoes cannot touch Anything else, if at all possible. If I didn't have this, they would be in a plastic bag in here. So <laughs> it's nice to have this little ventilated area for some shoes. Now in the back of the book bag, you have enough space to hold a 15.6 inch laptop and you also have quick access top pockets for small valuables like your wallet and things like that. Now, the back of the bag is very padded and cushioned, so this is really great for extended use. When I was recently at the Microsoft event, this is the bag that I pretty much had on the entire day, and you know, it served me well. So a lot of cushion for your back as well as your shoulders. So, the big reveal. First, I am gonna start off with the bottom compartment. So in the bottom here, I do have some shoes. And if you follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, especially Snapchat, then you probably have seen them. These are like my favorite <laughs> travel shoes. These are a pair of Nike slides. Reverse that, let's go like this. All right. Nike slides. I love to travel with these shoes. Simply because, you know, when you gotta take your shoes off and everything, it's a lot easier to take some slides off than it is a pair of sneakers, at least for me. So this is like my go-to when I'm traveling. And then sometimes, you know, if you're wearing sneakers or some other shoes and your feet start hurting, never, never hurts to have a nice trusty pair of slides. And Nike's the way to go. All right, so taking it to this top compartment here. So when you peel it open like this, then this is, like I said, gonna give you access to everything. So first thing that I see in here are my Sennheiser headphones. Now, these are in-ear headphones. I don't exactly remember the model, but I love the fact that they're super comfortable to wear. So this case is pretty nice and the fact that you get to carry it in here, it's nice and protected. And then these are the headphones. So you have this nice cushion around the back of your neck, so it's really comfortable for extended use. And these ear tips themselves are curved a little bit, which makes it really nice in your ears, so it really seals off sound pretty well. And the quality's good. Um, this is actually what I took on my most recent trip uh, when I went to the ZTE event. As far as media controls, it's gonna be found along the left-hand side of the headphones, making it really easy to access. But overall, a nice, comfortable in-ear pair of headphones. I'm looking for a good, on-ear pair. I'm currently debating between the Bose QC35s and the new Sony headphones. So if you have any experience with them and you recommend one over the other, drop it down below in the comment section. And while you are down there, be generous on that like button and that subscribe button. Y'all know how I do in the videos, gotta give you the reminder. All right, so next thing in here that I have is my vlogging camera. You know when you travel, you got to be able to document your memories and yes, your phone can do it but so can this Sony RX100 Mark V. And I actually carry it inside of this Wolf Fangs bag. The thing I like about this particular bag in which I carry it in is the fact that not only does it protect the camera, but I can also flip it inside out. And once I do that, the interior of the bag actually doubles as a microfiber cleaning cloth for the display or any display in which I have. So I find that pretty neat. But the camera in which I use to oftentimes vlog with, if it's not my phone nine times out of 10, it is this right here. This, as I stated, is the Sony RX100 Mark V. I really like this to vlog on because it gives me a lot of features that I have on my Sony a6500, but in a more compact factor. Plus, the display flips up so you can actually see yourself. Whereas with my Sony a6500, I am limited with this type of visual access. What I have it on here is a pistol grip, so this makes it a lot easier and more comfortable to hold, especially when you are gonna be vlogging. You know, you flip the display up. <clears throat> What happened to my voice? <laughs> you know, you flip the display up and then you can just hold it like so, you know, to get a nice little good vlog of yourself. 
or if you're gonna be recording, it makes it a little bit more easier and natural to hold so you get a nice steady shot to record whatever you seek. Next up, I got my Nintendo Switch. So I've done a review on this, I'm gonna link it down below as well as in the video, but I love this thing. It is basically my go-to portable gaming console right now. So in here, as I stated, I have the Switch. I also have a few other accessories in this little pocket up here. So I have these little sleeves that adhere on the sides of it and such, but it's a real simple setup. Next up in here, I have a portable battery pack by Anchor. If you follow the channel, you know I love some Anchor products. So this is their, I wanna say it's their, yep, this is their 15,000 milliamp option. So I like to carry a big battery pack and a small one. And when it comes to the big battery packs in which I carry, I like something around the 15,000 or above range, just simply to have that little cushion. <laughs> Sorry. Just more so as a security net in the event, the smaller battery pack in which I carry happens to die. So on this one, you have two ports. You have your battery LED indicator there to check the battery life. And it's a very nice, you know, small form factor for a fairly large battery. So I like this. Um, what else do I have? Oh, my favorite Bluetooth speaker. Once again, if you follow the channel, you've seen me mention this speaker in multiple videos. And it's for a reason, it outputs awesome sound, great clarity, lots and lots of bass. So if you're gonna be listening to that R&B and that hip hop, that type of music, or anything that's bass heavy, then this is a go-to speaker, in my opinion. Um, you have your media controls along the top, not per se 360 sound, but close enough. As this particular area, which doesn't have the grill, pretty much has pads so that you can just sit it on the table and have a little bit of cushion. You can lay it in this particular orientation or you can stand it up and pretty much enjoy your music. Next up, I have my gadget organizer. So this is something that I advise anyone that has a book bag with lots of stuff in it to have. This is a lifesaver. So in the bag, let me show you, I actually have it in its own dedicated pocket within the bag. So in here, I just have a few items. I have some cables, lightning cables, USB-C cables, and micro USB cables. I also have my microfiber cloth. Um, I have my SSD external hard drive here by Samsung. Absolutely love it. It's remarkably fast, great for editing footage. In the event, my hard drive is full and I need to dump some things off. This is my little safety net for that. And then I have a USB hub here. So if I wanna charge up some devices, you know, wherever I'm at, I have the option to do so. And then another piece of tech that is my absolute favorite is this item by Ventive or Ventive. But basically it is a portable charger with a built-in stand function. You have your braided charging cable in here, pop the lid, you have a stand to sit your phone and it will charge your phone without being connected to the wall, which is really nice when you're sitting down and you wanna be able to interact with your phone or have a better view of your phone. This is something to definitely look into. I think it's 3000 milliamps, so yeah. This is for the iPhone, but I believe they also have an Android option as well. Moving on to the top of the bag here, this is the pocket that is used for quick access. So this would be where you would place items like your phone or your wallet, or in my case, both. So in here, I have my iPhone 8 Plus. I wanna say this wallet case is made by Nomad, but I really like it because it has a section for my credit cards. Um, as well as some cash and my phone. So it consolidates everything into one convenient package so I don't have to carry two separate items. Also in the top compartment, <laughs> I have the Google Pixel 2. So this device is currently under review, so stay tuned for that review video when it drops. Be sure to subscribe so you're one of the first to be notified. Thus far though, I'm feeling it, especially that portrait mode. You've been following me on Insta, you already know. <laughs> Well, that's everything in that top compartment there. So now looking here in the back of the book bag, it basically kind of opens up halfway. It doesn't unzip all the way down to the bottom of the bag, but it unzips far enough. And in here I have a few items. So first off, I'm gonna go ahead and get the big dog out. This is my MacBook Pro 15 inch adorned in colorwear skins. This is pretty much my editing machine. This is my main computer. I get all of my work done here. It's pretty efficient in getting the job done as well, so. Definitely love that. When I'm home, I just dock it at my desk. Desk setup video on the way as well. But all these little shameless plugs. Moving back here to the book bag, I also have some lotion. Gotta keep your hands, you know, soft. <laughs> then I also have this five terabyte external rugged hard drive by Let's See. I really like this because it allows you to connect to your computer 
via USB-C or with the integrated Thunderbolt cable. But my primary connection is USB-C, but I love it because it's rugged and it's large and it's portable and it's reliable. So if you're in the need of a nice portable external hard drive, I highly recommend that one. So this one actually serves more as a backup to the external in which I have. I know it may sound like I carry a lot on me, but I just rather be safe than sorry. I don't wanna be out anywhere wishing I had something on me. So try to bring as much in a minimal form factor at the same time as much as possible. So also in this particular compartment, I have some gum, you know, keep your breath fresh. <laughs> and I have this item here by Quaycock. I meant Quack. How would you pronounce that? Quack. Quack, 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 quack. So in here I have this item by Quack Quack, something like that. I don't know, it sounds weird saying it, but nonetheless, in here is my USB hub. So I like to carry this on me to basically have additional ports on my computer so that I can connect things via USB, USB-C, and also plug in my SD cards as needed. It actually takes up two ports on your MacBook. I like that because I feel like it makes it a little bit more reliable so that it doesn't get accidentally disconnected. And you also have an HDMI end, but I don't really use that much. And then lastly, I have my chapstick. So, you know, you know what chapstick's for. <laughs> But that I believe is everything in my tech bag. Um, but yeah, what? I was looking like, is that a, is that a hand? When you trying to get the shot? Sorry. <laughs> when you trying to get the shot? Yo, follow Alexis too. At Lex Max Photos. I'm gonna link it down below in the description box. She has some awesome photography, so definitely give her a follow. But while you are down there, as this does sum up, you know, pretty much what I carry on me, I'm interested to know what are your three tech essentials that you have to carry on you. All right, I think that's gonna sum it up for this video. As always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out. Ooh.